Alright guys, so to begin this glitch, all you're gonna have to do to start things off is you're gonna be making sure that you guys have two garages that are in the same apartment complex. So for example, I'm gonna be using two different garages that are in the Eclipse Towers complex. But also, once you guys do that, you're gonna make sure that you have a vehicle in the top garage that you guys want to duplicate and sell. Now of course you guys can use any vehicle of your choice although I highly recommend that you guys do not use a supercar. And now the reason for this is because if you guys choose to use a supercar you are only going to be able to sell the vehicle one time and it's not going to bypass the 45 minute wait. Whereas if you guys use a non supercar vehicle and upgrade it all the way, you can repeatedly sell the vehicle again and again and again and repeat the glitch for a shit ton of money. Also, you guys are gonna be making sure that inside of your second garage, you guys have at least one empty space in your garage so there's no vehicle in the empty space. But um, once you guys do that, you're gonna be taking the vehicle of your choice that you guys wanna duplicate it. And you're gonna be wedging it in this spot right here. You know, sort of makes me think of Ron Jeremy going balls deep on a Friday night. But anyways guys, you're gonna wanna make it so the vehicle actually makes you guys teleport in and out of it once you guys try to get inside of it. But if it has done that, you're gonna be going on the streets and you guys are gonna be looking for a random vehicle. And also make sure that if you guys would want to, you could store this vehicle. And once you find it, you're gonna be parking it in the middle of your garage and wait till that you guys get the garage selection screen to come up. But once you guys get that screen to come up, you're gonna then back out of it. And I wanna apologize really quickly guys, this guy actually ripped me out of the vehicle and that didn't actually mess up the process of the glitch and I'm gonna be showing you guys that in a minute. But anyways, you're gonna go to quick job and you're gonna go to join contact mission and go to on call. Now right here is where you guys are supposed to start up a mission and get inside of the vehicle. But for some reason guys, the game was not allowing me to get inside of the vehicle because that guy threw me off. But anyways guys, the glitch still did work fine for me. I just had to get a brand new car off of the street because that guy messed it up for me. So make sure you guys don't get ripped out. But anyways... You guys are going to be loading up a job from like Gerald or Simeon or somebody like that and you're going to get into the vehicle but as your character is walking toward the car you're going to accept the mission and as your character sits down the garage selection screen is going to come up again. Now at this point you guys are going to want to be picking the garage or hovering above it the one that has the free space inside of it. Make sure that you guys do not actually pick it, you know, just hover above it. And then in a couple seconds later, you guys are going to see the mission is once again going to come up. So wait for that to come up. But um, anyways, once the mission does load up, you guys are going to simply back out of that and quickly select your garage. And then it's going to put you guys back into the game. So all you guys are going to want to do is you're going to look in the direction in which your car is and you're quickly going to try to get inside of it. Now if you've done this correctly, you're going to automatically spawn like glitched up in front of your garage and the game is automatically going to be putting you inside of there. But um, if you guys get this little part right here to work correctly, all you're going to be doing is you're going to be walking toward the doors of your garage and you're going to go outside. Now once you all make your way outside of your garage, you should be noticing that in the bottom left hand corner of your mini map, there's going to be a personal vehicle icon thing right there, and you guys are going to have a duplicated version of your personal vehicle that is going to be spawning on the street. So you guys can sell this right away if you want, but I'm just going to be proving to you guys that I did in fact duplicate my vehicle. As you all can see, I did duplicate this, so you guys are going to hop inside of any one of the copies and take it down to the nearest Los Santos Customs. Now once you all get down here, it's insanely simple, you guys can skip to the part right away where you sell the vehicle. As you all can see, I made a little bit over a hundred thousand dollars, simply because my vehicle was upgraded all the way. So if you are getting a low resale value, I recommend for you guys to upgrade the vehicle all the way. Now unfortunately,